In our previous lesson, we went through the basic rules of said operations. In this lesson, we'd want to look at how to multiply sets. Objective. By the end of the lesson, you'll be able to multiply two or more sets together using the multiplication rules. We'll look at the very basic ones before we go to binomials. We looked at the multiplication rule, which says that if we have a set multiplied by a set, we should multiply the outsides together and then multiply the insides together. So in this particular example, we're going to have 2 times 5, that gives us 10, root 3 times 6, 3 times 2 and then we get 6. Our focus is now on how to multiply two binomials involving set. Basically, a binomial is a term made up of two terms. Let's look at this example. In the first bracket, we have 2 minus 3 root 3. Multiplied by, in the second bracket, we have 2 minus 3 root 3. Now, to multiply this, we need to first expand the brackets. To do this, we're going to pick each of the terms in the first bracket and multiply that by the whole of the second bracket. So it reads 2 into bracket 2 minus 3 root 3 minus 3 root 3 into bracket 2 minus 3 root 3. So we have distributed this over this one. We can further remove these brackets too using the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. In that, this 2 multiplies this 2, then minus this 2 multiplies 3 root 3. So 2 times 2, we get 4. 2 times negative 3 root 3. Remember, this is outside. It will multiply the outside. You get minus 6, and then the root 3 comes. Now, when we expand this particular part, we have minus 3 root 3 multiplying 2 and minus 3 root 3. In this case, the minus 3 root 3 multiplies the 2, and this 2 has no inside. So the outside here will multiply the outside, and that gives us minus 6. And then we bring this inside. Then we multiply minus 3 root 3 by minus 3 root 3. In this case, they each have an outside and then an inside. So outside, outside, inside, inside. Minus 3 times minus 3 gives us plus 9. And then, root 3 times root 3. Remember, 
gives us root 3 all squared. We can further simplify this as 4 minus 6 root 3 minus 6 root 3 are like sets. And so we have minus 12 root 3. Then plus 9, remember root 1, root 3 squared gives us 3. This becomes 4 plus 9 times 3 is 27. Then minus 12 root 3. We get 31 minus 12 root 3. Three. That was quite simple. Can you try the next one within one minute? Great. So the next one is two root six minus three all squared. This can be expanded as two root three root six minus three times two root six minus three because of the power of two. We expand this one by distributing this over this. We have 2 root 6 times the second bracket. Then minus 3 multiplies the whole of the second bracket. This expands to, we are multiplying this by this. Outside, outside, 4. Inside, inside, root of 6 squared. Outside, outside, minus 6, there is 1 inside. Then we come to this part. Minus 3 multiplies 2 root 6, and that's outside, outside, minus 6, root 6. Then minus 3 times minus 3, we get positive 9. This reduces to 4 times 6, because this root takes this. Then we have like sets here, root 6, root 6, and that is minus 12, root 6, then plus 9. This gives us 4, 6 is 24, plus 9, minus 12, root 6. This becomes 24 plus 9 is 33, minus 12, root 6. That was quite simple. We have come to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we have learned to apply the distributive property of multiplication over addition and subtraction, as well as the rule governing the multiplication of sets. See you in the next lesson, which will talk about rationalizing sets with both monomial and binomial.